Hello and welcome to an NDTV special on what young India wants. It's Chetan Bhagat's debut non-fiction book. And participating in the discussion today, two prominent MPs, Shashi Tharoor and Jay Panda. What young India wants? The first question that that statement prompts is what am I doing here? But when you actually look at this panel, uh, Chetan Bhagat is 38 years old. So uh, I'm not going to indulge in any further revelations of what the uh, ages of the other panelists is. But the commonest thing, figure, statistic that's quoted uh, about the young in India and in Chetan's book, that 50% of the uh, country's population is, is under 25. 65 to 70% is, is uh, under 35. And uh, the age group is going to get younger and younger. The first question I've got for the panelists is that before we go down defining what young India wants, what their frustrations, ambitions, desires are, who is the young Indian? Uh, so I'm going to start with Chetan. Chetan, do you have an image of who the young Indian is? Me? <laughs> no, actually you're right. Um, I am 38 and you know, they're also touching 30 soon. Uh, but. Um, so we can't call ourselves very young, but I, I mean, as a writer, my job is to observe people, to have empathy for different people. And I think it, it, what matters most is how keenly I can observe them and represent their thoughts. And that is what I've been able to do for the last few years. So in, in that sense, I feel like maybe I know them. In some ways, I, I may have female characters in my books, but I am not female. But that doesn't mean I can't write about them, or most people who write murder mysteries are not murderers. Some of them are, but, um, uh, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So in that sense, it's more empathy. It's more trying to understand. And you're right, it, there is many, many Indias. For, but for me, it's not so much an age thing to anybody who is progressive, anybody who wants change, anybody who has a mindset that is young, is young. Of course, I, from when I visualize it, I today see it as somebody who's from a tier two, tier three city, maybe between 20 to 30. Uh, maybe, you know, finishing school, trying for college, trying to get a job of say around five to 10,000 rupees a month. To me, that is where I have reached. Essentially an urban Indian. Shashi, do you agree? Still, is that your embodiment of the young Indian? It's probably true that that is the young Indian who dominates the national agenda, the national discourse about young India. But obviously, there are young Indians everywhere and there are more of them in rural India than there are in urban India. There are more of them in northern India than there are in southern India. There are more of them um, who don't, haven't seen the inside of a school um, or who haven't graduated from a college than there are of those who have. So, so we have a huge diversity. But I would take this as an unfair question, Sunil, because whenever we talk about India, we are implicitly embracing its diversity. And the pluralism of India is, is now so much something we have to take for granted about India that, that if Chetan says what young India wants, I think one can say young Indians generally. Now, he has said that he wants specifically to focus on the aspirational Indians, the ones who want change and so on. And there must be young people who don't care about change or young people who are content with their lot in life and don't aspire. But my, 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 my take with Chetan is that when you speak of young India, you're looking at a restless, thrusting, uh, aspirational population that's impatient with what they see around them, that expects to have a better life than their parents had, uh, and and that, that, what does that India want? And I think that's a fair question to ask. Right. Jay Panda represents Kendrapara. Jay, what is your image, therefore, of, of the young Indian? Do you subscribe to basically, essentially, an urban India? My concept of young India is an Indian who is not defeatist, most of whom are young Indians. There are some who are not young and not defeatist. But... A lot of the mindset in India, at least in the policy-making levels, are rooted in the 60s and the 70s when all we had were setbacks. 
You know, when we played cricket, our best objective was to how to lose gracefully. Uh, when we went abroad, it wasn't as, as techies conquering the world. It wasn't as investors investing in other parts of the world. It was a totally different mindset. Now, the large number of Indians that you're talking about, the demographics, are different. Even those who have never left India. You know, there are three of us here that have been NRIs, and that's not the only young India that is not defeatist. You can go to rural India, you can go to Kendrapada, which is my constituency, you can go to tribal constituencies, and although there are still some pockets of uh, defeatist mindsets left everywhere in India, I think you will find that the large, the very large majority of Indians, and most of them young, have a mindset that they can take on the world, and I think that's the mood that Chetan has captured over the last decade. So, you know, if you were to ask me the question, what young Indians want, I think they want more of what Chetan Bhagat is, is dishing out. Right. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.